right thing here. We could scooch the camera this way a little Let's bit. Roll the whole cart. Yeah, I think we could do that. Na, 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 Until na, there's na, no crotch shots. Na, na, there we go. Zero crotches given. Unless I do this. Give them some that give the people what they want, Chris. Give them a crotch chop. They all they all want the crotch chop. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars for our very, this is an auspicious occasion, Chris, because as of right now, we, one, have our own internet that we, two, paid for, and the router is right there. Now, we don't have a cord going to the computer, we're, we're, we're using Wi-Fi, okay? So the best, but what, what we're trying to do is give everybody the, the highest chance of a decent resolution, decent audio. We have a new microphone. Well, we've had a new microphone for a while and people have said that it works. So guys, let me know how this works. If we if we start to have issues, we can hook up a cord and do, you know, the next in, in the future. But, but what we wanna do is we wanna have these Friday reveals and Thursday um, and Sunday live streams look and sound good. Now that brings up the elephant in the room. <laughs> right, Chris? Yeah. Okay. You. All right. I'm, I don't want to put you on the spot, but the elephant in the room is we didn't do a live stream yesterday. Oh, that elephant. And um, I'm going to drink this beer today. This is the only beer I'm going to drink today. This one shiner that Smoothie C sent us. But anyway, so we did not do a live stream yesterday, a question and answer, because we've been so busy getting the new shop together. Yeah, uh, Sparky D was here. Yeah, well, oh, that doing, was... Doing uh, Sparky D stuff. So, guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, what what Chris is, is saying is... Because um, we could have just done a live stream, but we had an electrician here. And electricians, I don't know if you know this, kind of cost bucks. So we couldn't just go, well, you do your electrician stuff while we just sort of, you know, do our little internet thing. You know have a little I, fun and game have show. Have a little yeah. fun and game show and sit around and drink. Mm -hmm. So so that's why we didn't have a, a live stream yesterday. But we did get a question from our friend Daryl. He wanted to know when mounting a wraparound bridge, how much how much distance does he need from the top of the guitar body? And so let's just take this opportunity now to tell to just what we'll have one A to a Q. Okay. Are you all right with that? Yes. All right, Chris. Do you want me to answer or do you want to answer, yes. Daryl? No, go ahead. Okay, you sure? If you're not answering, you need to be drinking. And if you're not drinking, you need to be getting a beer. Okay, so there are two. There, I'm going to make this as easy as possible. There are two basic kinds of bridges. The kind of bridge that you use on a Fender guitar and the kind of bridge that you use on a Gibson guitar. So Strat, Tele, kind of uh, a hardtail or, tune, or, or trim, it doesn't matter. And... Wrap around, tunematic, anything with a with a stop tail, Bigsby, something like that. Doesn't matter. Um, on on a Fender, you want about three eighths of an inch from the top of the guitar to the top of the fretboard, not the top of the frets, right? In that yeah. neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And on a Gibson style, you want about five eighths from the top of the guitar to the top of the fretboard, not the frets. Now. On a fender, the neck is flat, so you can measure anywhere like right at the neck or where the bridge is. But on a Gibson, you generally either angle the neck, heel, or the the, the pocket. And whichever one you do, it doesn't matter, but you, you probably are going to angle them. And in that case, you want to measure the 5 eighths at the scale. So if you're using a standard Gibson scale, 24 and 3 quarter, 24 and 5 eighths, 24 and whatever rule of 18. You get the idea. So Gibson, 5 eighths, Fender, 3 eighths. Your mileage may vary a little bit, but you got some adjustment. Yeah. Is that Daryl from class, Daryl? Yes, it was. And he'll be here in October cool. for Build a Classic Set Neck. Looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, that'll so, be fun. And mm -hmm. that's one of the, the steps that we do in that class. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm sure you're going to let me know how the... Uh, uh, Audio and visual quality is. We got one thumbs up and everything sounds real good and Perfect. looks real good. Okay, cool. And and guys, we're gonna 
you know, we're still experimenting with this. Brad Hutchings is helping us with a lot of this stuff. Um, and we're, we're going to, we are going to make our live streams excellent. That is what we are striving for. Consistently excellent. Yes. In fact, Chris <laughs> and I have talked with Steve from Maximum Guitars. That's how excellent <laughs> they're going to be. Yep. We're yep. Gonna start we want with every excellence. live stream to start with excellence <laughs> and end with excellence. Uh -huh. Yeah. Especially the really, really important ones. Like the Thursday thing. It's just you and me talking. And so if the video isn't perfect, that's not that's okay. But when yeah. we're showing off awesome, really cool artwork guitars and the picture looks like it was, yeah, from the 80s. Yeah, you got to be able to see the awesome guitars, right? Yeah, what a bummer. Speaking of awesome guitars, you know what everyone's saying yeah, right now, Chris? Uh, show hey, shut up guitar. and play. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we've got a really cool um, instrument. As a matter of fact, this one, speaking of build a classic set neck, this guitar started out life as sort of the poster guitar for the Build a Classic Set Neck class. So it's, it it's well, you're about to see. So um, you want to show it off, Chris? Yep. All right. So this is the kind of thing that you guys could build if you came to our Build a Classic Set Neck class. Um, hey, Brad Hutching said, sent five bucks and says... Uh, commitment to excellence. Commitment to excellence. Thank you, Brad. Um, uh, Brad, I've got some news for you. Um, anyway, but we'll get to that. So uh, this is the, this is the very first guitar. And you can see, if you go to the website and look on the, um, build the classic set neck, uh, 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 page under the classes section, um, you'll see this guitar prior to being finished. And since then, Chris and I have finished it up. So this is a mahogany back and mahogany neck, um, with a maple top and a rosewood fretboard. And the fretboard is so dark, we almost thought it was ebony, but I believe it's um, it's just a super, super dark rosewood. Um, so anyway, let's talk a little bit about this guitar. We'll start at the headstock like we always do. This has the um, uh, kind of a, a, a generic three on a side Headstock. We we didn't want to put the little mustache in there because we don't want to get in trouble with Gibson. But if you come to the class, you can do whatever headstock you want. Um, so we went with hip shot, open gear, uh, um, non-locking tuners because they're my favorite tuners in the whole wide world. Um, and this we guitar went, is missing something. It is missing a volute because I thought, well, let's make it as much like a classic set neck as as humanly possible. So we did not add, a, but it does not have the 14 degree headstock. It does have a seven degree headstock angle. So what um, if I tilt it like this as a 14 degrees? Now? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it, it's got kind of a, a, kind of a Gretchy kind of a headstock there. Um, it's got neck binding and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there, there, there is a, there's binding and then it, there's a little, uh, uh, some treatment there. So you can see the rosewood or ebony or whatever it is. Um, you can actually see the thickness of the fretboard before it turns to mahogany. Um, of course, this is a set neck guitar, mahogany neck, um, mahogany back. It's a two piece mahogany back. Uh, and it's pretty light too. This guitar weighs in at eight, five, eight, six, something like that. Hey, we got a super chat from Tony Lopez. Thank you, Tony. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm waving in the reflection. Oh, are you? Oh, <laughs> um, so I, I had a dent. It was a piece of wax. Oh, piece of wax. Uh, front. See the front. So this is a piece of uh, fiddleback maple that uh, Chris put a see-through blue finish on, and it's very cool. It's almost like the, uh, you know, that sort of swimming pool finish that you see on a lot of uh, quilt top guitars. Um, this one features the uh, Texas Toast. Pure juice humbuckers and uh, in chrome cavities. It's got the um, uh, Goto two nomadic and stop tail bridge. And it has the classic, you know, uh, three way switch in the three way switch position and uh, independent volume and tone for each pickup. So you can really dial it in or you can do the Ace Freely deal thing or you could do, you know, whatever you wanted. Yep. Um, it's uh, the, the body is bound and it looks like. A million bucks, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Chris? I like it. It's cool. It's uh, yeah. It's a, it's a rock and roll machine. It is a rock and roll machine. There's not a lot of flash on the back. There doesn't it's need just, to be a lot of. Flash it's just on the classy, back. yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. 
and then it's all, uh, you know, party in the front. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So guys, um, uh, I know what you're thinking. Jay, shut up and play the guitar. Yeah. Play the guitar, man. Okay. So, okay. This will be a good test because we have that new microphone too. Oh yeah. So I want to know guys what, um, oh, there's a pickup here. I want to know what you guys think about, um, if you can hear the, uh, the sound. So yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is a monster. It kind of makes uh -huh. me want to sing. I was so overwhelmed, I forgot to swallow. You want to sing a song, Chris? Let's sing a song about littering. You, <laughs> I litter. I litter a lot. I litter. I literally litter a lot. That's from a band called Your Dad's Butthole. Did you know that? I love that ACDC kind of G. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's my that's my favorite my favorite chord in all the world. Hey, yep. Eddie BM Blues is here. Pure Juice pickups are awesome. They yep. are awesome. So this thing has a neck, a neck position, humbucker. Yes, ma'am. John E. John E. Says, sounds great, but I think we're hearing mostly amp effects. Oh, well. Uh, Tell them what shitty amp you're using. Yeah, we're using a Mesa Boogie amp. Oh, is it clipping the mic? Well, you know, it, 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 okay. So, so next time we'll play slightly yeah, let's, lower volumes. I'll turn the guitar down. No, the amp. Yeah. That's uh, there you go. the guitar is fully operational. Um, Joe McCarthy says, uh, beautiful guitar. Let me put my danger glasses on. I like the paint and the bound neck. Let me tell you, man. Oh, does this have, oh, this has little nubs on the ends too. It does. So you guys can see, um, this has the, the Gibson kind of nubs on the end because I think it looks cool. So anyway, um, well, it's time to sell this guitar, Chris. I want to get what do what do you think? <laughs> We've already played this game today. We've already played this game today, but let's play it again on camera. Sure. So, what do you think we should sell this guitar for? Just in general, if well, somebody like called and said, "Hey, I want one of those blue ones," how much would it cost? To well, this would be a twenty five hundred dollar guitar. If yeah, if this was a special order, as yeah, if you guys said, "Hey, I want one exactly yeah. like the blue one," it'd be twenty five hundred bucks. But for the rest of the day today, all day tomorrow, all day Sunday, I'm blowing this guitar out for a thousand dollars off. That's it's crazy. It's it. how do I do it? It's how do insane. you do it? So we're, you. we're selling this guitar for fifteen hundred bucks now. You guys might it might have been a while since we've had a guitar sale reveal, but um, you know how it works if. You, if nobody buys it before Sunday uh, or before I get up on Monday morning, the price goes up to twenty five hundred, and it just sort of sits there, and, and you you know you you don't get that deal. So um, this is a great opportunity to get a super super cool guitar like this, um, and yeah, you could be the neatest kid on your block. Speaking of neatest kids on your block, and speaking of reveals, we've got a super super exciting reveal coming up 
next Friday from the Upright Lounge. We are going to not be in the shop. We're going to be at the Upright Lounge with our friend Jim Jam Jimmy. And that reveal is going to be wildly fun. Um, I remember I said I had something to talk to Brad about. Brad, I've been in, I, I saw Mike Learn today. The Mike Learn class is on. More details coming very, very, very soon. Chris, what are we working on the rest of the weekend? Uh, obviously, the new shop area. I litter. Uh, I litter a lot. Yeah, new, I'm sorry. New shop area. <laughs> uh, more guitars. <laughs> That's all we do. Guitars. You can follow me on Facebook and you can friend me on Twitter. <laughs> follow me in a car. And you'll probably see me litter. You literally litter a lot. I literally litter a lot. Great song. Yeah, it's you know it's 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 about it's all about the kids, Chris. I just I don't want kids to do drugs. I want them to be a bunch of little litter bugs. So Gary, the 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 no the the no trash puma. <laughs> give a lobbage, throw out your garbage. <laughs> All right, guys, this was a fun reveal. We've got so much work to do. Maybe on Sunday we'll show you some of the new shop, but we will absolutely positively be back on Sunday to hang out with you guys and have some beers and tell you lots of fun stories um, because there are a, a real buttload of them, as Chris is fond of saying. Really, um, I am. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. So uh, link in the description below, guys, if you're interested in buying this guitar at a, at a radical discount. Um, go to texastoastguitars.com. There's a link in the thing. It'll just take you right there. You, you can do just that. Buy you can just listen to my voice telling you oh. to go to texastoastguitars.com. Which you should do anyway. All one right? word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> click on available guitars, yeah. and it's right there. Bada it's bing, the bada first boom. one. It's the first one. All right, guys. This is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. Thanks for watching. We will see you on Sunday. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. It's not Tony Lopez.